In SurveyCTO Collect, you can transfer a case stored on one device to another device so the second device can work on that case, even if neither device is connected to the internet. This can be used for transferring a case from one device to another that does not have that case, or as a way of receiving the latest case data from another device. Let's demonstrate how to do offline case transfers. First, you will need to enable offline case transfers in SurveyCTO Collect. From the main menu, tap the three-dot menu in the upper right, then Admin Settings. Then, make sure Offline Case Transfers is selected. Offline Case Transfers will then be enabled. You can also use a default device configuration to automatically enable the setting when users sign in. Now, let's transfer cases. Here are two collection devices with SurveyCTO Collect open. On each device, open Manage Cases. As you can see, the device on the left has two cases and the device on the right has no cases. Let's transfer case 1002 from the first device to the second device. On the first device, I'll tap the three dot menu in the upper right, then Send Cases to Device. I'll select the case I would like to send, then tap Next. When you see Nearby Share appear at the bottom, it means the device is ready to send the case. On the second device, I'll tap the three dot menu in the upper right, then Receive Cases from Device. When Nearby Share appears, it is ready to receive cases. Note the name of the device in bold, which is the user's username, followed by a number. Once the receiving device is ready to receive cases, that name will appear on the sending device. On the sending device, tap that device name. Once you select the device, on the receiving device, it will ask permission to connect. Tap the blue Connect button. The data transfer will then occur. Once the transfer is complete, the new case will appear in the Manage Cases menu of the receiving device and the case is ready to be worked on. If you don't see the transferred case on the receiving device, this could be because the case isn't assigned to the receiving user. On the sending device, tap the Back button to return to the Manage Cases menu.